yeah! It's time for some Super Mario Land, girl. Alright, okay. Hold on a second. What is up with this design? There's, like, minimal effort put in, into this. It's, it, a lot of it's just, like, outlines. I mean, yeah, I get that it's, like, a, like a Game Boy game, and... A little early, like, 8-bit stuff, but... Dude, I mean... The original Super Mario Brothers at least, you know... Put more into their backgrounds and outlines and whatnot. I don't know, like, th to me this seems kind of like that kid in art class who, like, whenever you're doing a big project that's gonna take a few weeks, they just, like, draw a doodle on the page and, like, slam their their pencil or whatever down and just go, DONE! And just walk out of the classroom. Then they come back and wonder why they got an F on it. I don't know, like, that, that kind of thing actually... Like, that's just super irritating, especially if you're- especially for somebody who has, like, a passion for the subject. Like, you really want to learn how to, like, draw or paint or whatever, but they just kind of fuck it up for you. You know, in high school, um... I used to have one of those in, um, my French class. Yeah, like, junior, senior year, I started to- to take French class. And, um... Senior year... There, there was uh, somebody in my class who would do that shit, and um, like whenever, whenever we would learn stuff, we got to, we would have to like practice it out loud a lot because um, part of learning a different language is, you know, like getting the accent down. And so, I don't know. Let, let's say like like the example sentence was something like, um, "C'est plus bon," which means. That's too good. If you would call on this person in the class to read that very sentence, she would go something like, uh, cest plus bon? Like, not even fucking trying or anything. And it just pissed me off so much to just listen to her stupid face making noise because... I don't know, like, it's just... If you don't want to put any effort into into, you know, this kind of class, which you had the choice of not taking, then don't fucking take it. Withdraw and take something else that you give a shit about. Somebody like that talk and just, and just outright not give a shit, it, I kind of just wanted to, like, rip that person's throat out. Like, chasing them down. Like a cheetah chasing a zebra in the wild. And then ripping their neck out with my teeth. I mean, it's teeth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got some new yeah, um, enemies here that are, uh... Well, like a, what is that, like a dragonfly dropping spears on me? Oh, that's not very nice. Alright, I'm gonna call bullshit on that one. Clearly, I jumped on its back, but... Nope, doesn't count. But yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, share this video if you can relate to the story I told you. Oh god damn it! Ugh, fuck. That's what always gets you in these kind of games, like, you just barely miss the jump. Again, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and all that shit if you can relate. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Doing some push-ups, getting all nice and big and strong. Oh, god fucking damn it, every time. Oh shit, oh shit, get the, get the heart, get the heart, get the heart, get the heart. No! <laughs> Get up there? <laughs> oh yeah, made it. 
Oh, there we go. Alright, gonna get a bonus game! Fucking yeah, man. Three li three extra lives. I guess that's only the kind of, um... It's like a redeeming factor in this game. Even though it's... it's it could have been designed a little better. Um... And even though the Koopa Troopa's shells explode after you jump on them for some reason... Oh! Ah, oh, god damn it! Which... I don't understand at all. I mean, this game seems to give you a lot of bonuses, so yeah, you know, that, that I guess that is kind of a redeeming factor in this. Okay, okay, gonna get through, gonna get through, come on, baby. Yes! Oh, that feel good! me there, didn't you? Okay. I've, I've never seen, like, the Sphinx as part of, of Bowser's army. I mean, is that who I'm fighting here? I mean, I mean, is that who I'm saving the princess from this time? Oh, God. Fucking... What happens if I go under here? Ooh, all these columns. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Alright, so there's a way out of here, so I guess I'm not totally fucked. Good on you there, Nintendo. Jump over that shit. Oh shit, boss. Ah, dude, dude, chill out. Is it... A Egyptian version of Bowser? Wait, hold on. Why is it that whenever I hit that button, the, the Sphinx kind of just explodes? I mean, with... Like, with Super Mario Bros., it actually made more sense because, like, you know, you pulled the axe and that would release a trigger and the platform below Bowser would... Release and thus. Oh shit! That's not the real princess, is it? You sneaky little bastard. But yeah, as, as I was trying to say before, uh, in Super Mario Bros., it kind of made more sense. Wait, what is this? Am I being dropped off by a UFO? Is Mario a different kind of alien? And not just with the kind from a different country? Is the government hiding this from us? What, do they know something that we don't? <laughs> oh, shit! Ugh! God, yeah, I forgot I can't swim. That might be a problem. I, I knew I shouldn't have skipped all those PE classes in elementary school whenever when we were doing the swimming units. God fucking damn it. So, why is it that Mario 
can swim in like the original NES game of Super Mario Brothers, but he can't swim in this one. I don't know, how do you forget something like that? That would have to be like the earliest case of Alzheimer's. Possibly recorded. Who are you and why are you in my house? Mar Mario, I'm your brother, Luigi. I don't know you, I'm calling the cops! That would actually be, be kind of scary, like, if you if you forget, you know, who certain immediate members of your own vicinity are. Like, especially your family. Like, I, I, can't, I couldn't even imagine, like, what going through that would, would possibly be like. But hey, you know the funny thing about getting old? If you do reach that age, and you don't get the Alzheimer's, you could probably kind of fake it, and just to, like, fuck with your family members, then people would buy it. Just, like, turn to your nephew or something. And be like, Steven, I haven't seen you since the war! I thought you got shot all those years ago! And everybody's just like kind of looking at you funny. Like, okay, Grandpa, uh, that's enough. D are, are you tired? Do you need to be put to bed? I, th I, okay, I think Grandpa's tired. Let's, let's go on and put him to bed. Oh, fuck, another marathon of this. God damn it, come on, get up there. Oh man, this is like one of those pixel perfect kind of things where, like, if you don't, like, oh fuck. Oh come on, I, I landed on it that time. <sighs> God damn it. I'm wasting so much time here. Oh yeah, there we go. Sweet. And I'm in. Oh yeah, girl, bonus game. Extra line. So wait a minute, like, at the, at the beginning of the level, I kind of noticed that, like, you know, the little block platforms were only, like, were only half of what they should be. But then they touch the water, and then they're just, like, gone. Maybe the water's, like, supposed to be corrosive or something. That would actually explain, like, why Mario can't swim in it. It's not water, it's just... I don't know, maybe some kind of a vast body of battery acid. And I'm... Oh, God, fuck. And what is that? Is that like a bird or a robot? Is... Oh, God, fucking damn it. I can't, can't fucking move it across. Okay, okay, I'm almost there. Yes! All right. Power up. Up there. Fuck, come on. Jump up. Oh. Ugh, god. Thank god that was my best thing was there. Wait. Okay, so why do why do the shells explode all of a sudden in that one game? Will this be one of those unsolved mysteries? Like Jack the Ripper. I think I'm gonna call it an episode here. Alright, so, uh, everybody like, comment, subscribe, share this video, all that stuff, and until next time.